Hello, everyone, and welcome to Farming Simulator 22. Let's play the Valley of the Old Farm. Let's become a billionaire. I am your host, Fields and Skylines. Hope you're all doing really well today. Um, we're in December. Why is time set so slow? All right. And what do we have to do? Well, we have some stuff we need to do. We have to take this load of silage and put it in the feed mixer. And then we'll also have to feed our animals. We'll have to get some milk up to the cheese factory. We ended up buying the cheese factory last month. We have a contract we need to work on. We have some snow on the way, but that shouldn't bother our contract. It's just a cultivating contract on a pretty fairly large field. Um, we have a nice tractor here we want to buy, but we will not have enough money to buy it, even if we were to sell everything we have. Um, I think we would be a little short. We have, obviously, some... Uh, well, we said animals to feed. Um, we have to sell all of our perishable stuff. And that'll be about all for this one. Um, January, we have a bunch of crops we can sell. And then February and March. March, we'll kind of get back into the swing of things. And it all will be back to normal. And we'll be making lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots more money. So, unfortunately, though, we won't be able to buy that tractor. Um, I don't want to take the loan out. We could take the loan out, but I really don't want to. So if we got close, maybe I would. So we'll see where we end up towards the end of the day. But I don't think we're going to be all that close to get there. Um, it is a really large field. So I think I want to actually jump up here and get this started and get a worker going. And then we can do a time lapse of feeding the animals and selling goods and jumping around. A bunch of fun stuff like that. Uh, I don't remember what they said. What, what do we got here? We got a Fent Barrio 724, 50 kilometers an hour, which is not very fast. And then we have a small cultivator. The field we want to do is kind of like right there. So we will cut. Just because it is a little quicker. Um, we'll do a couple headlands. And then we'll kick off a worker and jump into that time lapse. Um, what else do we need to talk about? So last month, like I said, we bought some cheese. I do have a question to the community. Um, if anyone can answer. I have... Um, I'm on console, so I don't like I can't get Superman strength or anything crazy. Um, but I do have the JOS Josh mods for liftables on, and like it doesn't seem like it's working because I can't lift eggs, I can't lift cheese, um, pallets. I haven't tried buying them from the store, but like I very few pallets I can lift. And so I'm just wondering, on the console, like, is there a special thing I need to do to get them working? Anyone use them? Console player? Please let me know down in the comments what I should try. Um, that'd be great. Thank you. Because it'll make this playthrough a lot quicker if I don't have to, like, um, if, I, if I can just lift things and push them to the auto load instead of having to use, like, a forklift. Because you all know how my forklifting skills are. Not very good. So, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to work through that. Um, we'll figure something out if we need to. So yeah, there's that question. And then other questions are like, how are you enjoying this playthrough? What can we add to make more money without it being too crazy? I know once we have enough money, we're going to start getting some of the generators you know, rental estates, stuff like that. 
Um, but we're not quite there yet. We need to build up our farming and our animals and those types of productions. I would love to be able to buy like manure press, but we don't have enough manure yet to support our homebrew. Um, but once we get to some of those things, I think then we can start thinking about, you know, those expensive or more expensive generators. Um, let's take a look. So as we do this, um, a little bit of time, let's jump up into animals. Our cows are looking good. They just need to be fed. Our chickens just need to be fed. And our sheep are healthy. They just need to be fed. So that's all good. Um, there weren't a whole lot of contracts. I don't know if we'll get more throughout the course of the day. Uh, this look was the best one for like seven grand. Might be a little less than that because I leased equipment to do it. I don't have a cultivator. Um, it might be something we may end up buying. If we do, because it might give us more cultivating jobs in the future. Um, also, once we have our own production of fertilizer, we'll do fertilizing contracts once it kind of gets to that point. Um, I don't know if they do spraying contracts for herbicide. That would be another possibility. But yeah, right now, slim pickets, slim pickets, but we'll, we'll be all right. Uh, we will, like I said, we have like a pallet, a little bit of eggs to sell. We'll have a bunch of um, olives we can sell. I know we have some apple juice we can sell. I don't know if it's the right time to sell apple juice or all that stuff yet. Um, raisins we'll be selling on a daily basis. So starting in January, we'll have to sell our raisins because I think I just turned them on. I'll check once I get to this corner here. Let's go ahead and check our productions. So water, melons need a lot of water. Yeah, we have raisins on, grapes on. Um, we're storing, so we have a lot of apple juice to sell. I'll have to check the prices of that. We want these to run low on water so we can replace them. Forage, we have plenty of food, and we have even more that we can run. Uh, we're a little low here. We'll add more stuff and run it. Honey, we have a lot of honey. To sell but it's not that we won't be selling honey till march um we don't own any of these maple syrup we're making maple syrup doesn't get sold until march as well i believe um we talked about the grapes and olives And then the last thing is grannies. We ran all of cotton. We got a little bit, so we'll have to get some wool there at some point. And uh, there we be. So, so yeah, so we do have crops that we can sell in January as well. We have carrots, sorghum um, to sell. Wheats for the chicken. I don't know what other crops we harvested. I think we might have some sunflowers we can sell. So yeah, so we have um, a bunch of things we can sell next month. So I still don't think we'll have enough for a tractor, even though it is such a great discount. I mean, half 62% off. It's got a lot of hours on it, but you know, it, it's 350 horse right around what our JVC would be. Um, easily upgradable. I mean, 450 horse at the top. Uh, track setup US, EU. Um, we would have to switch it to EU because that's where we're at. We have front rate. We would also have to add this. So, like, when it's all said and done, let's get this back here. You know, we're looking at 148 grand, $150,000. So, it'd be 130000 more we need. I don't think we got 130 grand of stuff we can sell this month, unfortunately. But who knows? Who knows what might else pop up? So, yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is finish up this 
headland here, uh, jump into a time lapse, I'll finish up headlands, and then set off a worker, and um, we'll do some more uh, some more of the farm jobs. So I'll see you all in a little bit.
so that was the <clears throat> process to get all that stuff sold and taken care of. We only just got this field done. Um, we're cruising along. So I think we're in pretty good shape. One thing I'm curious about, though, is I want to build H cheese. And I don't know how big the building is or where it needs to go. I don't even know what the icon for. So let's see if we can find the aged cheese. Clearly ain't cheap. So Yogurt cheese. Nope, that is Parmesan. Is that aged cheese? I can't tell. We'll have to look and see what the icon is if it doesn't jump out at us. Aged cheese. <laughs> it's called the aged cheese factory. Right, so it's twenty-three thousand dollars. We have enough for it. Um, I want to see if there's a place that we can put it. First off, by the other cheese factory, maybe. I know it's saying the land is not owned by me, but it could be someday. I don't know where we dump milk. <clears throat> well, we dump milk right there, and then we pick up products right there. So we could definitely squeeze it in right here. Like it's been here all along, which is a possibility. Let's see if it fits. I mean, we could fit it in here somewhere. We can kind of maybe fit it. Tree might be in the way, but we maybe be able to fit it over here. Possibly fit it there. Don't want to mess with too much over there. We could maybe squeeze it over here in this corner. But with the ground, like it's... Yeah, it might be an interesting placement in that corner. But yeah, we have places we can put it. I think this is one of the things we want to get next. Um, that and um, we're going to put it for sure our uh, dairy. Uh, this one will definitely wear our mind. So this one will definitely go by the dairy. What it is, is it's, I'm going to call it like an expansion. Uh, one of the things, holy cow, I'm bad at this. Here we go. So it's like one of those things where we can call it an expansion. Um, just kind of pop it like right in here. And we can drop off milk, pick up cheese, and then we can just run butter. And I can have butter separated from cheese. Um, we definitely have enough. I know it can go there. We could, you know, eventually put another one, like, right here um, for another expansion. And then, depending on if we put the H cheese here or not, we could put, you know, this kind of anywhere. And it's only five grand. So we are going to place one of these down first. Um, but I was just curious, like, where um, that aged cheese could fit. So, like, if we come in here and we click here, you see we can buy all this land for 
nothing. And it's just kind of like all the private land. This might kill some of our precision farming score if we do this. But at the end of the day, I am okay with it because I can then... Um, surprisingly, it doesn't buy the ground here, though. Interesting. But then I can put some of that stuff in. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to do um, here with some of the money we have. And then 5 plus 23 28. So, you know, we're going to be close to being able to put both of those down right now. I don't know if we have enough milk to support we have enough milk to support butter and um, we can support butter and because like if we take a look at, at the productions wherever the dairy might be probably past it scroll up Dairy, 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 dairy. Wherever the dairy may be, it, there we go. All right, dairy. So it's going to use 3,600 milk. So that is 72. So we have two months worth of milk. So this month and next month, milk. Butter is going to use a bit more milk. So I think between the milk our cows are producing and eventually we'll get more milk, we could support milk and butter. I know I could turn it on here and run it out of the one, but then the pallets are going to spawn together and it's a pain to load them. Excuse me. <clears throat> so it's a pain to load them up. So that's why I'm going to do, um, oops, do the other one. Plus it's cheap enough that it'll work. And it'll get more money, a little bit more money. Because we can keep putting milk in that factory and it won't use all of it because it only does 36 hundred a month for the cheese so yeah so i think that is our plan i might get both of those down um, aged cheese sells for a little bit more and we can store it a little bit longer than does the non-aged so yeah we can make more money and more money means more cows, more sheep, more sheep pens. Because remember, we have to have, um, well, we do want to have money for, and so we harvest that field. So the key here is when we harvest that field. Let's see, are we done on this contract? Completed. Collect. Perfect. Um, so let's take a look at the crop calendar. And then we'll probably get close to wrapping this up because I've been rambling for a while. So we harvest barley in June. So come June, we need enough money for the sheep pen. That's 45 grand. I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, if we want to plant in March, well, we won't. Oh, and then we also want to harvest the wheat field in July. So if we want to harvest that wheat field in July, we need 45,000 plus uh, 172. So we are going to need over $200,000 to do the sheep expansion and this field. That's a stretch. Um, we will have some clothes that will sell before then. We will have more honey to sell we'll have fruit uh, apple juice to sell of course we'll be selling raisins uh 
be selling even some grape juice in there at some point. I gotta check when grape juice sells, raisins sell. But yeah, I think we'll be able to get there. Um, but that is kind of our future. So I think we'll put down the butter for sure and not the aged cheese yet. Um, and then we'll just let that run. Those things run. We'll, I'll then uh, see how we're doing for funds. And if it feels like we're going to have enough to pay for... Uh, If we're going to have enough to pay for um, the field and another sheep pen, of course, we'll need sheep. So it doesn't make sense not to get sheep as well. So we'll need some more money for sheep. Yeah, I think um, the H cheese factory might be the next purchase. So, but with that, I want to thank you for watching. Please give this episode a thumbs up if you liked it. Please comment below, um, share this video out, what it needs to do so we can get more eyes on it in case, if there's people you think you would enjoy it. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. It helps the channel out quite a bit so that more of my content shows up in your homepage. And as always, have yourself a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.